Hi, my mates from Australia. Now, well, I'm going to start a war. Well, when I say war, I just mean me complaining to GM to bring back, well, Holden. So, yeah. <laughs> so, today we're just going to do a bit of fact-checking. So, well, not fact checking, but talking about the first Holden and the last Holden. And my favourite modern one as well. So, the first ever Holden was called the Holden 48215. What? And it was made... 29th of November 1948. I would say that's that's a pretty long time ago. The fact that they stopped only 70 years later. Jeez, it's a long time. It was also known as the FX, so the Holden FX. That makes a lot of sense. Why didn't they just call it that? That would have been so much more easier. It was economical, sturdy, and stylish. Came really popular real quick. It became re real, real popular in Australia real, real quick. First Australian car. Um, it got up to more than 40% of car sales. More than 40%. Now, of course, that's, we're talking Australia, because it wasn't anywhere else. So, the last ever Holden rolled off the assembly line on the 19th of October, 2017. It sold at auction on the 30th of January, 2021. Get prepared for this one. I bet you're not prepared for this. $750,000. What? I mean, I guess it's the last one, but it's still Jesus. The original price was $65,000. Now, I'm going to call this Holden. Yeah, I'm going to call that the prototype. The prototype Holden. People have been talking about it. I've seen on the road. I've seen multiple. I don't know when it released. I don't have any facts, unfortunately, about the last ever Holden that rolled off the assembly line too much. But that's the only facts I got from it. The prototype Holden. Uh, I don't have any facts about that. <laughs> I will tell you, there's no V8 option. It's only a boring V6 from Shed. It's... It, it's actually an Opal. So, um, I think us Australians can actually probably fight to bring back Holden. Now, sure, you may be saying, <laughs> yeah, they gotta get a factory, they gotta design it. This is gonna take years. Sure, but if GM announces that Holden's coming back, I'm gonna stop this war of. We need to bring Holden back. No, not that type of war that you're thinking of. I'm talking about arguing. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to make multiple shorts about it on my channel. Um, so, if you see a lot of shorts coming up, just don't think, oh, he's being lazy and not uploading videos. No, normal videos. No, 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 no. It's to bring back Holden. <laughs> Sure, I've been doing it recently, but I just need some more views. Like, jeez. Like, I swear. One did nine, and then ten, and then 2k. Thanks. Thanks to the people that subbed to me, though. Thanks for getting me 62. I'm at 62 already. I did, like, what, 10 days ago. My 10 subscribers special. Not my 10 subscribers special. My 50 subscribers special. 10 days later, I'm at 62. Thank you so much. But, if Holden was to design the last ever Holden, I would say they make it just a V8, no electric, no rebranding, no rebadging or anything like that. And 
I would say, you know, make your own, make it super nice. Maybe make it like sort of like a Hilux sedan. That would be cool. So it's like a Hilux sort of like a pickup truck. But then it's like got some off-road capabilities and it's like lowered and it's got a lot of power. And it's a V8. Like, I don't know, think of like the Ute. That's that's fun, okay. I love the HSV Ute from 2014. That's my favorite Holden. Anyways, uh, we need to bring Holden back. Let's start this war of bringing Holden back. Oh my God.